Okay, for a second error 10 this morning, it's 8.06 in the morning, continuation for the 27th of March, 2024. I was really being pissy about the uh, video because I got interfered with. I had it on speaker. I mean, I was doing some recording. And I got this recording voice. So, so basically, right now, I'm still waking up. I still think it was artificial intelligence. But I was going to be talking about NBC. And the independents have been having a field day over this bad thing for the, for this week. <laughs> Since Monday. But yesterday, we had a ship collapse a bridge. And then today, they're still talking about the bridge collapse. Six people presumed dead. Construction workers. They weren't just doing some... Uh, work on the cement on the bridge trying to fill in the check holes and the potholes and then the ship hits and then all hell breaks loose <laughs> it screws up shipping cruising everything in the area kind of screws things up it's a tragedy about the bridge it really is. But now they're worried more about what's it mean for that ship to black out like it did. I mean, I'd seen the videos that they had. Power, then no power. Power, then no power. And when it was no power, it meandered. Actually, in between that time. It meandered, aimed, power out, crunch. And the six people died, possibly presumed dead I've quite recovered the bodies yet so Coast Guard and Navy are in recovery mode so is the uh, fire and rescue out there it's a tragedy I mean when I was seeing this uh, news report freaked me out about it I was going to be jumping on the bandwagon like everybody else would be going against an RNC chairwoman that goes on the media, after tearing them apart for several years and saying, No, 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 you guys are all fake, you're all this, and you're all that. And attacks the media on a constant basis, and you have NBC with the executives thinking it's a good idea to hire this person on there. And then having their own staff, their own higher, you know, higher salary anchors out there, saying, how dare you? They went after us. They went after me. So they interrogated her online. I actually in the studio and then talked on her, about her. I had a feeling if they kept that chairwoman, they would be losing their money makers. It's not about the salaries. It's about do you allow an, uh, a liar on there who tore her you guys apart left to right now joining your station. I would have think that Newsmax or OAN or whatever they call themselves or even Fox would have hired this person in an instant. They didn't. NBC jumped on them. ABC won't touch them because they'll, they'll do the same thing. They'll tear her apart. When you have somebody tearing apart a news media organization at this point over here and tearing them apart specifically. And then, one of them actually hires him. Bad blood. Bad blood. It's not a personality. It's principles. It's principles. It's scruples. It's precedence. It's precedent. You're setting a precedent there. How the hell did you not see this coming? And they showed it, but they didn't. If we had another Democratic dropout from the party who wants to be hired by ABC or CBS or even uh, cable channels, they'd be hired. 
Because if they were not attacking anybody or press and just working with them, that's one thing. Now, how do you work with an enemy? <clears throat> how does one work with an enemy? And be honest about it. That's the thing that they could not understand. That's the thing they could not understand is the honesty part. How are you honest with yourself? And how do you present yourself as honest? Go on and the camera said, yes, I said these things. Granted, they want to be as opposition and opposite viewpoints, which you guys have. Yes, I'll probably say it because that's my position on the damn thing. But I called you guys the enemy. I called you guys the fake news. I called you guys this and I called you that. That is that. I called you out on it because I still think that you guys are fake news. They're not going to be honest about it. Let's be honest about it. But let's not just say, oh, it's, it's, it's them, it's them, it's them, it's them, it's them, it's them. It's them. No, I'm sorry. If you can't own up, own up to the damn thing, you don't have the honesty. You don't have the scruples. You don't have the guts about this one here. You flip-flop like crazy. You belong in Fox. Or OAN, as you call them now, or even Newsmax. They want to be that way. They're going to be that way. Me, uh-uh, I'm not dealing with a flip-flopper. Own up to it. If they happen to show me my videos, okay, John Cameron Weaver owns up to this damn thing. That'd be simple, right? Is it? Let's just say if somebody else is going to be showing me this video. Okay, as of this date, 8.13 in the morning, West Coast time. It's a Wednesday, it's the March 27th. 2024. This is stating that I am putting to fact for the record, on the record, of all the stuff I said out there, I am owning up to. I own it. Okay? Put this in the court of law. I own it. I said it. My thoughts, my feelings, my memories, everything of mine, everything that I understand and know. I'm owning up to it. You're going to use it against me in a court of law? I own it. Make me honest. If I'm going to be on the stage or in a courtroom or somewhere, say, well, I, I was just, I was just, show the video to me and say, Mr. John C. Weaver, who's watching this right now, own it. You own it. This is on you. Say it. I own it. Again, I own it. Real. All right, asshole. I motherfucking own it, damn shit. You, you, you happy, you schmuck? Yeah, I said it. I said the MF word. I said it. I own it. I own what I say. I am an insulter. I'm an egomaniac, prideful, conceitful at times. I don't like being conceitful. I had been that way for a hell of a long while, and it took me a hell of a long while to get to a point where I have to be totally honest with myself. I'm a prideful, egotistical, arrogant, prideful bastard. A megalomaniac. Let's own up to it. I'm an alcoholic. I own up to it. What I don't own up to is I'm going to try to present myself as a different person. I'm going to have to walk up eventually to the pearly gates when it's my time. I'm going to have to own up to it and, and look, Peter, or whoever's got the door duty at this point. And I'm going to say, look, I own up to everything else I screwed up in my life at this point. If I did anything good, maybe. If I did anything bad, I got to own up to it. I have to be truthful, I have to be honest, I have to be accountable. If I am not perfect, I am not perfect. I know I'm not perfect, I'm human. But the thing is, I got choices. I have choices. In my mortal life, I'm not quite so sure about the spiritual life. But if I did have the choices for the spiritual life, it probably be too, 
I don't know if it was too late for me to start believing or not, but down here is where I have to be honest and truthful. Up there, it is what it is. And I got no control over it. So if or whatever I said or did, I have to own up to it. Why can't everybody else be that way? I'm not perfect. There is no way I am saying I am perfect. Oh, he's ego. He's wearing this thing on here. What's this? He's an egomaniac. He's chasing after power again. Look at that. It's power. It's power. Don't you understand? It's power. It's power. I just say that. Eh, yeah, shut up. It's only been a couple hours since I fed you. You might not get my tea right now. I had to get my hot drink this morning. Laying off the coffee table with the tea, and the apple juice, a bit of uh, lemon and sugar in it. So, I own up to it. I said so. I'll put it on record. It's not that I'm going to be an egomaniac. Of course, I know I did that bit concerning about pointing at the shirt. Look at the shirt! Look at the shirt! Look at the shirt! What do you think that means? Uh, before my stomach went off. Gurgling as it was. I mean, I already ate a few hours ago. Woke up from morning nap. And now, I'm up and dealing with this. So what I'm saying to myself? I'm up. What do you want me to do? Put on up to this! What is this? This is power! This is power! Don't try to stand! You're demonstrating an egomaniac! You're not being full truthful! Yeah, 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 yeah! And filling a damn blank. So just point over here with a hyperboles and everything else going on. Not to mention the excitement or lack of excitement. You know what this damn thing is? It's a fan shirt. It's all it is is a fan shirt. Ah! He's megalomania! Yeah, and I said earlier, I am a megalomania. What's the problem? Ah! Mm -hmm. Characterizations out there of people going on the extreme. Trying to point the bad. Trying to point their Fear mongering and everything else going crazy. And yes, I had been a science fiction fanatic for since I was a kid. Reading stories, reading books, and everything else. What do you want me to say? But don't you understand? I understand that I am what I am right now. And I'm dealing. Don't like it? Tough shit. You're a liar! No, I'm being honest and truthful with myself. Wrong! I can prove otherwise! Where's the proof? Uh, 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 uh. That's what I thought. When I do my videos, I usually talk a, a lot of stuff, but stuff I observe, I learned, I share, I've heard, I've seen. Either personally or I've seen it on the videos and I remark about them. And I'm trying to tell people what I learned. And I'm not trying to gather support. I'm not trying to tell people specifically what they should know or should do. I'm not going to should people. Meaning the example of saying... You should listen to me, because I am a guru. I know everything. I know everything. Aren't I wonderful, because I know stuff, and I got you hooked. Therefore, you should pay more attention to me and my damn ego as I'm feeding you stuff. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. I can act crazy at home with the weird ass sound effects by doing inflections of my voice, characterizations, like crazy. But it doesn't mean I'm going to go out there to a person and act like a total complete idiot because I'll be seeing the damn look in their face. Like, excuse me, disbelief, not quite inquisitive, it's like, what's your trip, man? <clears throat> of course, if I was going on an egotistical personal personality shift at that point, 
I would probably be acting in a different way. And I've seen people do that. There was one resident we had actually out here years ago. May have been a sweet lady at one time, but she was suffering through mental illness that even her family could not deal with her. Got to the point where this lady had gone extreme with her psychosis. To the point where they had to get rid of her. Well, she still stayed around, but she had to be forcibly removed. I had seen this personality shift from a lady who was afraid and scared and probably honest, and then turned out to be the most accusatory Trumpian I've ever seen, with a hell of a lot of conspiracies coming out of her mouth. Split second. I can't even flip my... I can't even snap. But this is what, I, this is what happens. And I'm not dealing with this very well. One second, please. Sorry, I was seeing uh, CNN still putting on one particular anchor that they took off a few months back because of rating situations and stuff. They took off this one lady's sharing with another gentleman's uh, morning show. I was getting in, into it, too. Uh, she says uh, sporadic and she's still at New York. Poppy Harlow. I miss that lady. Yeah. Watch television a lot. You become fans for a lot of them. So, personality shift. It's out there. And sometimes I wonder, had I been that way? But, truth be told, I wouldn't even know. But the thing is, I think I would feel, I, I, I would feel it. I would feel it. I would feel a slight shift in my body. I would feel a slight shift in my head. And the perceptions. Whether or not I'm feeling or thinking one way, and then here comes another way for it. So, hmm. Sorry. I haven't gone that far yet. <coughs> but I will do characterizations. I will do vocalizations. It doesn't mean I'm going to be a voice actor. I'm way too old for that shit. I may have a voice and get the teeth for it. Uh, my body's going a slow, mortal decay, breaking down left and right. And I get to see a doctor next week. Oh my god, I'm not looking forward to that one. It's a new doctor altogether. And I still gotta think about doing the damn blood work. Uh, good Friday, how about I get stabbed? I'm going to have to think about that one. That's not exactly too appealing to me either. But we have to be truthful. I have to be honest with myself. I have to be. Because me, myself, and I, we. <laughs> but I have to be honest with myself. I am me. I am not you. I am me. And me is John Cameron Weaver. That'd be the name. That would be the right personality for it, I hope. If I'm going to be honest with people, then i got to be honest with myself. I have to be honest with myself first before I put that on people. I don't push, I don't shove, I don't ask as much. Opinions, comments, I like them. And some of the other ones, I probably would appreciate more of the, crit the critique, the criticisms. Just to see where the hell they're coming from. Some people, excuse me one second. Some people are worried about their YouTube standing out there. That they're, that they're scared of losing customers. Well, maybe they are. Maybe they are. I said they are. I didn't say me. I appreciate people. Give me the comments left and right. I'd never expect it. I'll scratch that. First or first and a half, almost second here. I was seeing some of the prompts and from other people are trying to say, Well, like me, subscribe to me. I need more followers. And having YouTube even give me some warnings about that one. Polite, nice, gentle electronic warning saying, 
you need to build up your numbers. It's like they need to add more body and more volume to their already over bloated computer systems as it is. You need to do it because. Because why? Because we say so. You're on here. Okay. Uh, did I happen to see anything on the terms and contracts concerning about it? I have to constantly promote myself? So now I gotta constantly promote myself. I gotta push people into this channel here. I gotta push and prod people. Everybody wants to be in a millionaire club. It took them years to get into that particular position. But for me, what is it about getting all these people? With, I don't. I, understand the attraction of this damn thing unless we're feeding ego or feeding the advertisers I haven't asked for profit I haven't put myself in that situation I didn't I know a while ago I had asked for likes and dislikes and comments and no comments mostly no comments but these days I like to find out but it means now I am dependent. I am dependent upon people's thought patterns. Because that means I am not... I'm not doing it. I'm, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not playing the head game. Okay? I'm not going to play the head game. Everyone has got their own damn head games to play. And I'm just going to say, screw it. i got my own damn opinions at this point over here. I listen to everything else. And I form my own opinions off the basis I've got. And if I need more, I need to research. So if somebody else is going to have uh, opinions about it, okay, that's fine. I mean, comments or compliments are one thing, but I need information. I need things to do critical thinking on. I need to understand. Someone else has got a different point of view on a topic, then I can't be the only viewpoint on the topic. I said this before, and I'll say this again. Everyone's got a viewpoint on the same topic. Look at a crystal prism, look at the white light going through it, and then you see the spectrum. Or visible enough anyway. So, if there's more to the item, then let's get some more factual information from everyone else's viewpoint on the same topic, shall we? So, you got any ideas concerning about grieving, mourning, you guys are going through the stuff? Cool. You're going to be talking about politics or life in general. Let's talk about that too. Now, if you guys are going to be doing... Oh, God, am I going to be asking for this one? Because now I'm dependent upon likes and dislikes and, and comment. Well, comments are one thing I need, but subscribers? I did that a while ago. I wasn't exactly comfortable with it either, trying to ask and plead for people. If you're going to join, you're going to join. If you're going to subscribe, you're going to subscribe. If you're going to like, you're going to like. And if not, you're going to be there and lurk like me. Some of the time I do lurk, and other times I do like. And if it's going to be pissing me off enough or interested in me enough, I'll do a comment if I have to. But if I happen to share that particular video, that's a different thing altogether now, isn't it? There's a friend of mine on the East Coast that shared this thing a few times. Cool. I'm not stressing over it. I share some of his stuff, too. Also, a few other people left and right. So we share on YouTube. Communication. We all look at different things differently. I have to keep thinking about that and keep my own damn dis distress and distaste and everything else, including my revile, my bile, my absolute disgust of the situation over here. Don't you understand? I'm driving the race so crazy here. So now I gotta depend upon you folks concerning about likes and dislikes and subscribing to the channel of a lunatic and a bad man. <laughs> Didn't I say something about inflections in the voice and doing a characterization here from time to time? 
But when I'm not going through the grieving process, when I'm not going through the depression, and I'm not under any chemical influence at all, nothing. I can be a little bit of a crazy guy when it comes out for video, but in person, you know, in person, I'm just, I'm just a schmuck on the street, okay? That's all I am. It's just a schmuck on the street. But this is who and what I am. So, you like, you dislike, you comment. You want to flip me off, flip me off. You want to insult the living crap out of me? Bring it on. I can't believe I'm doing this damn shit. God almighty, I can't stand this shit. Oh, God, let's see the ego, shall we? Help me, please. Ha, 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 ha.